In the heart of London, shrouded in the mists of time and mystery, stands an imposing fortress. Its ancient stones whisper tales of intrigue, power, betrayal, and death. Among its many secrets, it's said that the headless spectre of Anne Boleyn roams the corridors, forever trapped within the walls where she met her tragic end. Welcome to the Tower of London, a place where history and hauntings intertwine. Our journey begins almost a thousand years ago, in the 11th century. The Tower of London, originally known as the White Tower, was commissioned by William the Conqueror in 1078. Its purpose was twofold, to protect London and to assert the power of the new Norman king. But the tower's intimidating facade hides more than just stone and mortar. It's here that the first ghost story takes root. Legend has it that the White Tower is haunted by the ghost of its builder, Thomas Becket, Archbishop of Canterbury. After clashing with King Henry II, Becket was brutally murdered in his cathedral. His vengeful spirit, it said, returned to haunt the place of his betrayal. As centuries passed, the Tower of London's reputation as a stronghold of power and control grew. It evolved into a royal palace, a treasury, a menagerie, and perhaps most infamously, a prison. Among the Tower's most famous prisoners was Anne Boleyn, the second wife of King Henry VIII. Accused of treason, she was beheaded within the Tower's precincts in 1536. Since then, countless visitors claim to have seen her ghost, a headless figure wandering the Tower Green and the Chapel Royal of St. Peter at Vincula, where she was buried. Fast forward to the reign of Queen Mary I, and the Tower becomes the final destination for Lady Jane Grey, the Nine Days Queen. Betrayed and abandoned, Lady Jane was executed at the Tower in 1554. Her ghost, they say, appears on the anniversary of her death, a mournful figure gazing out from the battlements. But the tower's ghostly inhabitants aren't all high-born nobles. In the early 19th century, a guard reportedly encountered a bear ghost, believed to be a remnant from the tower's days as a menagerie. Startled, the guard tried to bayonet the apparition, only to pass through it and die of shock shortly after. From its inception as a symbol of Norman supremacy to its dark days as a royal prison, the Tower of London has stood as a silent witness to a millennium of English history. Its walls echo with the footsteps of kings and queens, saints and traitors, and the spectral figures that roam its halls. In the heart of a bustling city, the Tower of London remains a chilling testament to the past. Its stories, both historical and supernatural, continue to captivate us. A stark reminder of the intertwining threads of power, ambition, betrayal and death. As the sun sets and the shadows grow long, perhaps you'll hear the whispers of the past, the faint rustle of a ghostly gown or the clink of spectral chains. The Tower of London is not just a monument to history, it's a haunting, timeless echo of the lives and deaths that shaped a nation.